Jacob. What you're suggesting is atrocious. A crime against humanity. It's the only way, Harold. In spite of our efforts, she's dying. No, I refuse to believe that. She'll find her strength. There's no time. We have to operate immediately. I'll send my assistant to check on her condition and prepare for surgery. You are to check Meredith's condition. She gets weaker by the minute. Harold will surely crack soon. She must be stable for the operation. I'm counting on you. Report to me straight after.
Thank you. Meredith's condition is worse than I expected. She doesn't have much time. Harold, we have to begin. You only have a theory, a prototype. I won't let you experiment on my child. But this is her last option. I've made my decision. Test it on me. If I die, I'll still be with my daughter. If it works, the transplant will save her. We should hurry and get Harold ready for the operation, but the lights in the room aren't adequate. We need a current regulator. I was working on one in the gazebo. This ornament will give you access. Hurry, there are lives depending on you.
quickly. Find my surgical tools. Make sure they're sharpened and disinfected. Suction, my good man. I can barely see his heart. I have to make an incision. Scalpel, please. Stubborn tissue? I need scissors. The hardest part is done. Disinfect the wound and assemble the chest piece. Then it's up to Harold. I can't believe it! The mechanism is pulsing like my own heart! My sweet daughter, there's still hope! Jacob, you have my blessing. You're making the right choice, Harold. Assistant! I need your help again. Take the clock tower key and set up the machinery. The artificial heart requires immense power. We'll prepare Meredith for the procedure.
my daughter. She... she's gone. Please, go to the reanimation room. Only Jacob and you can save her. I'll meet you there. Jacob's unconscious. There must have been a power surge. You're her only hope now. Please hurry. Meredith, my sweet child, how do you feel? Father, the flowers will wilt. I need to water them now. Don't mind the flowers, dear. Father's here with you. The flowers, Father. It's time to water them. Assistant, something's wrong with my daughter. It's like her memories and emotions are gone. I beg of you, bring me the family album. It will help her remember. We'll be in the garden. 
You did it! I've trained you well. Do you realize we've just conquered death? This makes us the most powerful people in the history of mankind. There's a lot to discuss, but I have to calibrate the shockwave machinery first. My daughter is still unwell. Have you found the album? Ah, my methods have proven valid, as I knew they would. From now on, humanity won't have to cower in the face of death. I congratulate you on your part in my project. Of course, you'll be well compensated. Now, I have to adjust the machinery. I can't be interrupted! This is delicate work. History awaits me!
Meredith, these are your children, Fiona and Duncan. Do you remember them? How is this possible? What about your husband, Jacob? His invention brought you back to life. Jacob? He did this. He brought me back to this broken life. He's the one to blame. Meredith, what has he done to you? Your humanity is... is gone. He'll pay for this. It's a shame I upset my father. He'll miss our tea time. Jacob, may you find no peace in death. As my daughter has found no peace in this... unlife, I swear. We'll find peace together. Even if it costs the blood of others. This is how my unlife started. The house grew room after room. It became a labyrinth, a prison. I walked its halls, burdened by my life and death, finding new comfort. My every waking moment has become a broken hour. <laughs> 